<laughs> What's up YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook? If you're new here, my name is Alicia and this is Aya. And I am kicking off with my Make sure you subscribe. Too early. We are getting ready to do our ugly sweater tumbler. So check it out. So Look at this. Did you see did you see my video where I was in the store? Play has an ugly sweater on too. If not, check this out. Oh my goodness, would you look at all these ugly sweaters? I think I need to buy myself one. And even better, I think I need to make myself a cup to match. You know what? I think a bunch of other people need to do this too. Hey, guess what? Saturday, airing. Me and seven others posting our ugly sweater tumblers. Don't miss it. Now that you've seen that, which one did I decide to go with? Do I want to go with this one? Wait, let's see. Let's see, Aria. Let's see yours. We got we got a cat on Aria's and Frank here. A cat? Frank, our pup. Oh, stand up. Stand up, Frank. Say hi. This is Frank. He's five months hi. old. He's got the Grinch. Hi. Hi. Or did we go with this one? Or how about this shirt? Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Do you like mine? I like yours. We have the same one. We have the same one. Benefits of being a small mom. Or is it going to be this one? Oh, I like that shirt. <laughs> you have the same thing. You I like think. it? Benefits of being a small mom. All right. Be sure to stay tuned so that you see which shirt I used as inspiration Wait, to make my cup. And now. <laughs> because this is the end of the intro. And make sure you check the description box below because as you know, I challenged seven other creators to create an ugly sweater, sweater tumbler too. So check that I out. I love ugly sweater. Because they're ugly. They're not ugly. <laughs> All right, guys, stick around. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And subscribe. And subscribe. All right, let's get started with this cup. I am using a 20 ounce skinny straight by Makerflow and I have uh, sanded it, uh, cleaned it with 91% alcohol, spray painted it using apple red, Rust-Oleum's two times apple red and I am going to apply my glitter using the um, Mod Podge method. So I'm gonna apply it using Mod Podge. And I'm gonna do this twice. So I'm gonna put a coat of Mod Podge on, I'm gonna glitter it, let it dry for an hour, put some Mod Podge on, glitter it again, let it dry another hour before I'm ready to move on with the next step. The glitter color I am using is Red Solo Cup by Glitter Makes It, of course, and um, this is gonna be a solid uh, red, so it's, it's gonna be one color, like I'm not doing multi-colors on this cup. So this is it, this is the only glitter color that I'm using on this cup. No, that's a lie. No, it's a complete lie because when I do the um, thing that I'm not going to show you to do because I didn't tell you about this before I started, I used another color. So totally lying about that. But anyway, so all right. So I glittered it. I'm going to tap it off. I'm going to put that back in my jar and I am going to make sure that I get the bottom. You don't have to glitter your bottom. It's completely option. I always do. So, you know, if you want, you can just tape that off and leave it stainless steel or paint it red or do whatever you want with it. So my glitter is dry and I'm going to give it two coats of the triple thick clear glaze by Crown. I'm going to let that dry for an hour and then I'm going to go in with about 30 mls of epoxy. Um, I would probably use more if this was a chunky glitter, but since I'm using a fine glitter, I think 30 mls will work just fine. And you can use your regular set epoxy or you use a quick set epoxy, whatever you know, whatever you want to use, depending on your time frame. And so I'm just going to get that nice and even, and I'm going to let that turn for however many hours I need to let it turn. Then I'm going to apply a second coat. So I am going to do two coats of epoxy over this before I'm ready to move on to the next step. 
And um, just remember not to overwork your epoxy because it could create bubbles. And then go ahead and uh, torch it down with your kitchen torch or some sort of you know heat to uh, pop any of those bubbles that you have. And, um, and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step. All right, this cup has two coats of glitter, two coats of epoxy, and I'm ready for my decal. So I have printed out on a permanent vinyl, all your sweaters are ugly, and I printed the Grinch's head on printable vinyl, so I did a printing cut, and that's the only way, the only thing I can get my Cricut to cut is vinyl, uh, it's a print and cut. It does not print and cut anything else, only the printable vinyl. And I've heard that complaint everywhere from everybody who's got a Cricut. I'm not complaining though, because you know, I got my Cricut a couple of years ago, secondhand off of Facebook Marketplace. And I'll tell you what, I've had no issues and it has um, just been working beautifully ever since I got it. So I'm not going to complain. All right, so I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit while I fumble around with trying to get my transfer tape off of the vinyl. And I'm using um, Orcal 651 Permanent Vinyl in matte white, I think. Yeah, matte white. And um, I will link down below where I get it from. I get it from Annie Up Graphic Supply. And so I'm just getting that on. My transfer tape is not all that sticky, so I struggle with it just a bit. Um, but no worries, I get it on there and make sure it's all pressed down. And then I'm going to slow it back down when I come to getting this on. So I printed Grinch's head on printable vinyl, which if anybody works with it knows it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, it's pretty delicate. So once you get that down, um, that is it. You're done. And, oh no. Oh no, I got a crease right here. I don't know if I can save that. Man, seriously, printable vinyl is such a pain in the keister to pull back up and smooth out because it rips really super easy. Did I get it? Yay, I got it. All right, there's a little bubble there. All right, I got it, I got it. Yes, okay. Now, my ugly is gonna go down here, but guess what guys, I do not have the wreath. So I'm going to draw this and paint this on. So I'm gonna grab a Sharpie and my paint and I'm gonna be right back. All right, guys, so I couldn't find my Sharpie, so now I have this Craft Smart paint pen. And here we go. I am going to attempt to draw a wreath around his head because, and I, you know, I can't draw stick figures. So this is, <laughs> this may be really, really bad. So it's just kind of like this around. It's kind of like what it looks like. Oh. All right, so if we mess up, let's take alcohol and see if it will come off easily. Otherwise, I might have to use acetone. I can't draw a straight line over a straight line. That's why it's really good that I am getting an affiliate, um, coming an affiliate with a designer because I can't design my own stuff to save my life. I cannot draw. So, with the help of designers, this is how I can make my cups. All right, so that came off with 91% alcohol, nice and easy. And now I am going to continue attempting to draw this, what looks kind of like a flower. We're gonna go like here and underneath his neck, there's like, I'm not even gonna bother with that. So, you know what? You can see some of this printable vinyl here. I'm gonna just uh, clear this with my black marker since it's black on black. All right, 
So that's the outline. Now I am going to paint with this green paint. I'm going to attempt to paint within that black line and ugh, this brush is awful. It's got a, it's got a hang hair. You see that hang hair? Uh, I'm gonna pull that off. No hang hairs allowed. So now I am going to paint in the lines. You know, guys, I'm gonna glitter. I'm gonna glitter this because this is gonna be horrible if I don't. So I'm thinking glitter is gonna be really good to give it some texture. All right, guys, so I am going to speed this up and I am going to actually cut some of this out because I'm trying to keep this video so that it's not ridiculously long. So I am going to um, paint within the lines the best that I can because I'm not good at painting. And I'm going to do two coats of this green and I'm well, I'm going to do a coat, let it dry for however long it takes. And then I'm going to do another coat and let that dry for however long it takes. And I'll probably speed it up with my heat gun. And then I am going to go um, and Mod Podge uh, within that green, and I am going to glitter it. Okay, so now that that is dry, I am mixing in some of that green paint into the Mod Podge to tint it green, just to make sure I get better coverage. And then I mixed in, rather mixed together, three different greens. So I mixed in Cuddly as a Cactus, Kermit, and Emerald Isle. Um, I didn't want to use each of them like I didn't want to use just one of each color I wanted uh, to a blend of greens different kinds of greens to give this wreath some texture if that makes any sense so I do one scoop of each because I'm just doing this little wreath so I don't need a lap so I got my little scooper and I'm just doing one scoop of each and I mix it all together and you know it wound up being the perfect blend and I really liked it a lot all right, so now I'm ready to um, paint this Mod Podge on like I was painting the green on earlier. And you can see it's tinted green. So whatever spots that I missed or were light, not that I missed any spots because I didn't miss any, but any that were light are going to get covered up with a third coat of green. So it should be a nice solid coverage. But, you know, with the blend of these colors, um, I think it's going to be a good solid coverage and I wouldn't need, I'm not going to need to do a second coat. So I'm going to do it a couple sections at a time because Mod Podge dries kind of quick. I'm actually painting kind of <laughs> painting this on kind of slow because I want to stay within the line. So I'm just going to do this in sections. All right. And I just skipped to the end because I'm trying to keep this video under a half an hour. So um, I'm going to finish this up and then uh, once I put this last bit of glitter, I'm going to tap the excess off and then use a little brush um, around it to clean off the rest of the uh, glitter that's kind of hanging around on the cup. And then I'm going to let this sit and dry for an hour before I seal that glitter with, um, I am going to seal it with Krylon's uh, Triple Thick. And I like that because I feel like the Krylon Triple Thick um, actually holds glitter better than the Rust-Oleum Two Times Gloss. And I really don't want this green glitter to travel around the red cup. So that's what I'm going to use. And um, once that is dry, then I will be ready to move on to the next step. So actually, I'm going to be letting this sit overnight. So before I do that, I'm just going to put on um, the final words. So um, uh, all of your sweaters are ugly. Are ugly is the words that I'm attempting to try to put below the Grinch. But my paper, my transfer paper is on its last legs. And so it's giving me a hard time and it's not being sticky. So yeah, this is going to go in the trash. But um, I get that on. So then this whole cup is going to sit overnight and dry. All right, guys, so I want to show you what I'm doing here. Um, I, so, and if I sound muffled, sorry, I have a mask on. I'm wearing a mask, and I'll tell you why in a second. So I have, you know, who doesn't have like a hundred of these laying around the house, right? Um, at least when, you, you know, you have kids, you usually do, because every time we go to the dollar store, she buys like another 10 set of these things. But anyway, I want to use them as Christmas balls around the Grinch in the Grinch's wreath. And so um, I decided that I want to use these. So I've got three done, and I'm probably like I just lost the third one. Oh, here it is. 
and I'm gonna do eight, but I'm gonna show you before I finish up how I do this. So I've got these, these pliers and I'm holding on to this really, really tight. I take my torch and I just kind of burn out that like a yarn or whatever it is that holds these things together. And then I'm using my rotary tool and I'm grinding them down until it gets to that like halfway point. So this is the reason why I'm wearing my mask because I don't know what these things are made of, but it smells really bad. Some sort of weird, you know, plastic. And because I'm grinding, there's all this black that's coming off. So I don't want to breathe this in because I don't know what it is. So I have my mask on. So I just wanted to show you how I did one of these. I'm not gonna sit here and have you watch me do all eight because it's gonna take a while. But getting there. All right, and it wears your sandpaper out pretty quick, so I'm gonna have to change out probably either this one or the next one. So I'm gonna take that off and I am going to snip it with my scissors as close as I can, but there's gonna be that little nubby still there, so I'm just gonna grab, put this in my pliers, and it's hard to do because now it's only half of a bead. Get that in there and then just give it a quick torch to burn that nubby off. And then a little And then of course, once I get these on the cup, I am gonna paint them or paint them before I'm not, I haven't figured out what I'm doing yet. All right, so that's, I've got four down and four more to go. Oh, and I just wanna to say too, the reason why I'm not detaching this is because it is so much easier to hold like this than if I were to take, you know, and cut one off and then try to grip it with, you know, with my pliers and hold on to it. So it's much easier to do it this way. So I don't suggest clipping this off. I suggest just, you know, keeping these all together and then clipping it when you've got it to where you want it to be. Okay, now I'm moving on. All right, guys, you know what? Just when I think I can be done for the night or I should be done for the night, I'm like, oh, you know what? I can do one more thing before I go to bed. So my one more thing is um, my sweater has snowflakes on it and I purchased these from Amazon. Um, you know, I could have cut my own snowflakes out, but it's really hard to cut out ones that are super small like this. And these are really cute because they are, you know, the white, the blue, and the silver, and they're sparkly. So um, I thought, you know what? This is just going to be so much easier and so much better looking than what I could cut out on my Cricut. So I'm just going to put these all around the cup and using all of the colors instead of just white like on the sweater because I like all of these colors. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so I am gonna speed this up and I'm actually gonna cut some out because I don't think you need to see me hand place every single snowflake on this cup. So, because I do wind up putting a lot on this cup. Oh, and you know what? After I do that, I'm gonna clean this rim up too. So if you're not sure how to clean a rim, go ahead and uh, click up above because I will link uh, my video on how to clean a rim um, of your cup. And so um, with that, I am gonna skip to the end. And here it is with all of its snowflakes. I really like it. It's too cute. All right, who was I kidding? I wasn't ready to stop working on this cup tonight. So now what I'm doing is I'm using Elmer's double-sided tape and I am putting it on a pencil and I'm using a number two. And the reason why I'm using a number two is because they've got like those, um, it's like a hexagon or whatever. So it lays flat, it doesn't roll. And so I am putting my beads on the um, tape so that it can stick there. And I'm going to use my silver paint pen and I am going to paint uh, four of these beads silver. And then I have a red paint pen that I'm gonna paint the other four uh, red. So yeah, I, this is what I just came up with because I'm like, how am I gonna paint these beads? I've gotta stick it down to something. So this is what I just came up with on the fly and it worked really well. So, you know, a little tip and trick. 
if you want to uh, color half beads uh, the way I am, go ahead and stick it to a pencil with double-sided tape and uh, you will um, have a good place for them to sit and dry as well. This has been drying overnight. So now what I'm going to do is, um, oh, I actually sealed this with uh, the triple thick. I gave it two coats of triple thick, but I really do not want this glitter to migrate. And there's my dog barking. And so I am going to um, seal this even better with polycrylic. So I'm just put, I just put a little polycrylic in the medicine cup and I'm uh, putting it on uh, the brush and then just brushing it on. And I'm gonna let this dry however long it takes it to dry. I don't know, it could take a half an hour, it could take an hour. But once this is dry, then I'll be ready to start gluing my beads on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing on my um, my little beads which are the christmas balls on this um wreath all right so i'll be back in a bit all right so my polycrylic is dry i don't know how long it took probably an hour or so because i put a pretty thick coat on and so now i'm going to apply these beads using uh, uv resin the reason i'm using uv resin is because i'm being impatient and i don't feel like waiting for any other glue to dry so that is what i'm using so I'm gonna just, you know, I'm showing you the first couple of ones. I'm just gonna stagger them. I'm gonna do red, silver, red, silver until I make it all the way around in no particular fashion. I'm just gonna put them wherever I feel like they look good. And then uh, once these are nice and cured, then I'm gonna be ready to move on to the next step. So now that my little Christmas balls are secured to the wreath, I am gonna go in with my black paint pen and I'm gonna clean up these lines around my Grinch. Um, because I printed this um, uh, print and cut on printable vinyl, it was like a hair off. So you can see the white a little bit and I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is just go all around the wreath and I'm gonna go all around the hat and I'm just gonna make all of, you know, I'm just gonna make all of these black lines completely black without any white. So um, I'm going to cut out the rest of this, but just so that you get an idea of what I'm doing. And this is just another little neat trick, too. So if your design has a black outline, but, you know, your white printable vinyl is showing, you can just use a black paint pen or even a Sharpie marker. Just make sure you seal it afterwards with um, like a two times uh, gloss clear so that when you put your epoxy on, it doesn't run. I don't think it should, but I don't want to take any chances after putting all this work into this. All right, this cup is ready for epoxy. So I'm going to put um, epoxy on my finger, and I'm just going to go around each of these balls um, because I don't want it to pull up too much around there, and epoxy will pull up around any 3D uh, surface. So I'm just putting like a light coat on there. Um, ultimately, this cup took two coats to finish. I had very little sanding to do. Uh, I Before I went on to this um, before I started epoxying. I did sand the top just to smooth it out and show a little bit of that rim up at the top and make sure that um, it's not sticky or jagged in case somebody decides to drink directly from the cup. And so I'm just applying the epoxy in my normal fashion going all around. I used um, about 20 to 25 mLs on here didn't need any more because it already had a coat of epoxy so it didn't need a whole lot and i did you know, but it did need enough to go over those uh snowflakes because they are raised a little bit and then after i'm done applying that i am going to torch it let it turn for about six hours put my second coat of epoxy and then this cup is done and i am ready for my final remarks yay it took so many steps but i love how this turned out all right don't forget to torch for bubbles all right see you soon all right, guys, cup is done. Look, I love how this came out. So I feel like I'm officially ready for Christmas. I've got my ugly sweater. I've got my cup. I've got my headband here that you can't really see. I got Frank back here destroying my half-decorated Christmas tree. And so now I want to give a shout out to all of the participants in this challenge. So I challenged all of these creators to create an ugly sweater cup. They are all listed and linked down below. You must check them out. You must subscribe to their channel and follow them on Instagram and Facebook because they are all super creative. I had so much fun collaborating with them all. Um, we just had a great time doing this. So, Taylor of Duncan Custom Airbrush, Courtney of Courtney Customs, Leisha of Leisha Be Creative, Mel of Made by Manny and Mel, 
Erica of 321 Cup Design, Karen Basket DIYer, and Cami of A Lotto Tumblr Tutorials. Thank you all guys for accepting this challenge. I cannot wait to see what you all come up with. Now that I've announced who I've challenged, now I challenge you, all of my Facebook followers, Instagram followers, and YouTube followers to make an ugly sweater cup. Uh, tag me in Instagram or Facebook. I wanna see what you guys come up with. She's giving you a sneak peek of the next tutorial or a tutorial that's going to be coming up that will not be Christmas, sorry guys, but um, she drew this yesterday and I am absolutely in love with this picture. She is six years old and she hand drew this. So I am going to show you guys how I'm gonna take this picture and put it on a Tumblr. So subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit that notification button so that you know when I post every Thursday and this will be coming up soon. So thank you all guys for watching. I will see you all next yeah, time. I'll be nine and six. Bye. Nine and Say bye. Bye, Scribs. Subscribe. Make <laughs> sure you do. Oh, like, like, like share, comment, because I want to hear your feedback. Okay, now it's bye. Bye.